Today, let's learn how to cut video in Adobe Premiere. Let's jump in. Now, there's multiple ways to cut, each having its pros and cons in Adobe Premiere. First, click on the razor tool. It's usually to the left of the timeline. And then you click wherever you want to actually make the cut. You can just eyeball it there. One thing I like to do is I know exactly to the frame where I want to cut it. So you've got the timeline right here. There you go. That's down to the frame. That's exactly where the cut's going to be. I don't really like this method because it involves clicking. I like using hotkeys. So let's undo that. Uh, let's go back to the selection tool. Uh, press C for cut. And there you go. Now tailor the icon. So V, that is a normal selection tool, the pointer, and let's press C. And now it's the razor tool or cutting. And there you go. You make your cut. Now, another way I like to cut, and this is actually my favorite way is, I will know, for example, this first clip of uh, looking out of the canyon is kind of coming up like this, and I'm not gonna need the rest of the clip. So this is pretty much it, and I want it to go to the next one. Instead of making a cut, and then changing back to the selection tool, and clicking here, and hitting delete, and delete, or after you made that right click and say uh, ripple delete, which works as well, that's a lot of steps. It's all about efficiency when you're editing. Time is money, especially when you're working on client stuff. The faster you can get this stuff turned around, the more projects that you can take on. So let's say we wanna cut the project right here. We wanna cut the clip right here. I will press W on the keyboard. And what it is going to do is, it's going to delete everything after uh, where the cursor is on the timeline, everything after until the end of that clip. So watch, W, there you go. It, it's just trimmed the end of that clip. Now, Q works the opposite way. Let's undo that. Let's say I want to actually have this clip start from this frame. I press Q, and there you go. Now it starts from there. Easy peasy. Another way to do it is to use the ripple edit tool. Press B on your keyboard, or over here, this is the ripple edit icon. That's what you click on to, to activate it. And now what you do is you grab the beginning, let's say, uh, of this clip, and you bring it over to wherever you want it to be. And not only will that make the cut for you, but it's also going to shift the timeline so you don't have to worry about doing that. Let's say I want to have it start here. There you go. Now it starts from there. Let's say I want to have it start that far away instead. Same thing. For me personally, I'm the biggest fan of using the Q and the W keys. I use that all the time, especially when I'm, I'm putting together a rough cut. So we're getting a little bit advanced here, but you know, even if you've been using this for years, I mean, I know people who've been using this for half a decade that have yet to be introduced to the Q and W keys when you're editing something. So uh, try that out today. So let's say I want to have it start here. I'm going to press Q. There you go. It cuts everything off and it shifts everything over. Voila. Let's say I want it to end here. I'm going to press W and that's going to slice off everything after this clip. That's it. Those are multiple ways that you can cut in Adobe Premiere. Uh, some are easier than others. Again, I highly recommend using the Q and W keys whenever you can. The ripple edit tool is also very handy, but there you have it. Hopefully that helped you and you learned something new today. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If there's a question that you didn't have answered, if there's something else now you're seeing this and you have another question uh, that this brought up, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. All right, guys, take care.